Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla episode 14 card, subject to change. We're in front of 2,607 people tonight at the California, at the Arizona Grand Canyon University Arena. That's right, we have left California for the first time and we are in Arizona's Grand Canyon University's Arena. To open it up in a decent match, Michael Elgin defeats Jay White in 10-41 by submission with a crossface. We had a 51 from Jay White and a 52 from Michael Elgin. This got the crowd and match uh, full fans into it on a strong start. I should also mention that I had signed a couple other people, um, Sanjay Dutt, Shane Strickland, um, a couple others. Shane Strickland, unfortunately, has a 10-month injury, so I'll be releasing him. And Sanjay Dutt, uh, <laughs> well, my taping schedules are continuing because I'm working on all pay-per-view appearance workers getting jacked around, so he's not on the card either. We have nine matches, including the continuation of the storyline with Candice LeRae. 57 C- minus out the gate. Next up, and about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction, Sammy Guevara defeated Jack Evans at 11-22 with the 6-30. Guevara gets the victory as Jack Evans is on his way out of the promotion as well. Very little drama, had little psychology. 68-62, so basically this was just a fucking, oh, excuse my language, a spot fest. No skill improvements. 57 C-. minus. We're really, after this show, I've been saying it, but we're really going to have to go back and we're really going to have to, before we continue and record our next episode and really book our next show, we're really going to have to go out of our way to, really going to have to go out of our way to basically um, figure out exactly who we can bring in going forward. I mean, the cost of the workers and the, and the universe and the database are just going up exponentially, so we're going to really have to plan out 57 C- minus though here. All right, and the next match. Juice Robinson defeats Jerome Daniels in 8.59 by pinfall with the taste. Juice Robinson gets on the board here in 2019 with the victory over our resident uh, lower, low, low, low worker, Jerome Daniels. No skill improvements, uh, not much here. Juice Robinson went over here, which is great. Juice, we can build into a useful member. Jerome Daniels is a 300 per parents worker that we can use to put people over who's decent in rank. 40 D minus. All right, it was an accident, Juice. I didn't mean to, Juice. Sorry. Jeez. Next up, in a nice triple threat in a match that had good wrestling and a decent reaction, Joey Ryan defeats Matt Riddle and Trent in 1335 when Joey Ryan defeated Trent by a pinfall. Ryan with a 69, Riddle with a 64, and Trent with a 57. Trent is improving in technical skills, a 68C plus from Ryan, Riddle, and Trent. I am very happy with those ratings between these three PWG uh, stalwarts. I've had them since the first event, and they've been performing for me ever since. 68C plus, Ryan especially. Next up, in a good match, Brian Cage defeats Jeff Cobb in 10:55 with a pump out the faint builder. The freak himself, uh, Brian Cage, with a big victory over Cobb, who I really like in real life, but I've had a really hard time getting over here in this save. 64C. If you guys have any idea how to get Jeff Cobb over, that would be fantastic. I'm using Fletch's uh, January, uh, January 18 mod, so if you want to look at the stats in there and try to shoot me some advice, because I'm having a big problem trying to get him over. 64C. All right, and in the last show before the intermission, the PWG World Champion Candice LeRae defeats Dalton Castle in 13.06 by pinfall with a balls black 62C for the champion. Candice was offered for game, but they showed great chemistry, which was great. Something to write down for the future, probably. Um, but yeah, Candice with the victory here tonight, 62C. All right, next up, Michael Cole says that coming up after the intermission, we're going to see Jimmy Havoc making his PWG in-ring debut as he takes on the man who came out to try and help out Candice at DDC4 in 2019, Chris Hero, as well as the main event of the evening when the Young Bucks get their one-on-one -on -one PWG World Tag Team Championship opportunity for winning DDT4 when they take on the big guys in Brian Pimmel Jr. and Desmond Xavier in the main event. Matt and Nick were good. Well, actually, Desmond Xavier was getting stale. Nick was not great. Matt was good. No skill improvements, but a 69C. So this is one of our uh, not-so-great shows in a while, but that's all right. We can't have a perfect show every event. 69C+. Plus. And about that had good wrestling and decent reaction, Jimmy Havoc defeated Chris Hero in 954 by pinfall with a Death Valley driver. Chris Hero is getting better at his gimmick. 60 overall for Hero, 63 for Havoc. No skill improvements. 67C+. Plus. After having defeated Chris Hero, though, Jim Havoc begins to beat up Chris Hero to the point where he sits in the middle of the ring with a chair draped across the throat of Chris Hero, who can't move. Candice LeRae with Joey Ryan run out and try to get into the ring with Havoc, and he lets them know that if they get into the ring, he'll break the larynx of Chris Hero. Joey screams at Jimmy and asks what he wants, in which, he, in which Jimmy replies that, pointing to Candice's Pete WG World Heavyweight Championship. Candice instantly screams, sure, whatever you want, trying to help Hero out, and Jimmy just laughs. Havoc said he wants a PWG World Heavyweight Championship match with Guerrilla Warfare rules. 
the fans ooh and ah, and that would be our first Guerrilla Warfare match here in this save. And Ryan says, no way, but Candice agrees to it before Jimmy can finish his statement, and Havoc nods, letting the pressure up Hero's throw. As he backs up, he slams the chair down across to the throat of Hero anyways, which causes Joey and Candice to slide into the ring, but not before Havoc escapes. So that's right. At the next event, which I will believe is All-Star Weekday 11, I believe it is, or All-Star Weekday, <clears throat> again, weekday, because we can't do weekend shows, <laughs> We're going to get Jimmy Havoc against Candice LeRae for the PWG World Heavyweight Championship and our first ever Gorilla Warfare match. That is going to be super fun, guys. I'm excited. Let me know if you're excited for that. 61C. Next up, but about that had great wrestling and a decent reaction, Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Rocky Romero in 1335 with a roaring elbow. Rocky Romero and his one-off event, or excuse me, Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Rocky Romero, who is on a one-show appearance here with us. 73B-. minus. That's unfortunate because he had a great uh, gimmick. Zack Sabre Jr. is getting stale, 64, 72. Zack Sabre Jr. is a training performance. Again, we're just really running low on workers we can use who are making only a moderate amount of income. We're going to have to just push into and eat into our, uh, our, 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 ba our payroll and go from there, which is okay. That's why we built it up. It's like 175. That's why we built it up. But, um, yeah, we're really going to have to be a little conscientious with it. 73B minus here. We're really, I mean, I've been saying it the last couple shows, guys. I'm really going to have to go back and really search out and find some new workers who fit the PWG brand. 73B. And this is the next match I'm looking forward to. Desmond Xavier and Brian Pillman Jr., the big guys, taking on the Young Bucks. Let's see what they get here for the tag titles. Wow. Excellent. 80B. Wow, that's great. And about that, a superb wrestling and great heat. The Young Bucks defeat the big guys in 13-23 when Matt Jackson defeated Desmond Xavier by pinfall with a moonsault. The Young Bucks win the PWG World Tag Team Championships. Xavier, excuse me, with a weak link, struggling to keep up with everyone else. 66, 79 for Pillman Jr. Wow, shit, man. That dude is absolutely uh, coming together. 91 and 84. Brian Pillman's improving in performance skills, which is great. This got the crowd buzzing. 80B. Hopefully our show was at least a 70 here. 75B minus. Absolutely thrilled with that. We're going to go ahead and give a... Uh, who are we going to give this to? Zach Sabre Jr., Rocky Romero, and we'll give it to Jimmy Havoc as well. All three of which were very good tonight for us. All right, let's go ahead and get past this. And let's go ahead and look at our... Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of Desmond... Or not Desmond, but uh, Shane Strickland. Bring him back in a couple months, but he's on a downside guarantee, and we can cut him without having to pay him. So we're going to cut him and try to save ourselves about $1,000 a month. Really unfortunate. I plan to push Shane Strickland... Um, at least a little bit. I mean, as I'm looking for new talent, go figure. Sanjay Dutt was like a one-off too, but he wasn't here. So I'll have to pay his, pay him 600 bucks, 700 bucks to not even appear this month, which sucks. Let's see what they said about our show. Show was awesome. Absolutely great. All right, well, buy rate was 0.01, of course. There are always nothing better. <clears throat> Issues, issues, Sunday. We only have two people with morale issues. Look at that, though. We, we're, that's absolutely great. Our schedule for March is what? Also a weekday. It says we have nothing scheduled. This must be dormant, active. Also a weekday 11. I don't know why it says no shows in the near future. We have one for March. Hmm. That's weird. We'll look at that as it turns over. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Shane Strickland here. As I showed you, he is hurt for five months with a detached retina. Not great. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. Yes, unfortunately. We'll get back to you soon. But, um, yeah, this was PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla Episode 14 card. Subject to change. And, of course, it changed. Look at our money right now. We're 13 over. That's great. 13 over with about a whole week left. So, should make even more money. But yeah, this was a PWG episode 14, card subject to thanks. Thanks for watching and have a glorious day. We'll be back tomorrow with another PWG episode.